Hello guys, my name is Pablo Farias, I'm the founder of Zemba. I'd like to welcome you to this course, Introduction to Web Application Development with Symfony. As the very name suggests, the goal of this course is for you to learn the basics of web application development with the Symfony PHP framework. The concepts that we'll be covering, all of these will be familiar and you'll understand them by the end of the course, are from the very beginning, web apps. What are web applications? How do they work? What are the benefits of using a framework like Symfony? What do we gain from this? We'll cover the project creation process, controllers, what they're for, what, what is it they do, how can they send different types of responses back to the user. Roots, when it comes to URL matching, what happens if you enter a certain URL? How can you root that into a specific method inside your code? We'll look into views, how we can build reusable and modular views with the Twig templating engine. And we'll also do an introduction to Doctrine, the ORM, the way Symfony uh, works with databases, or an alternative that you can use to work with databases in Symfony. You'll be familiar with what a CRUD is. It's basically a component of a web application where you have a listing of elements where you can add new elements, modify elements, delete elements. And we'll look into including assets to our web application, such as CSS files, JavaScript files, images. The final product, well, what you'll come out, come out with at the end of the course, is a very simple web application that's basically a listing of our workout sessions where we can record what activity we've been doing for how long and when. Um, so you can add new sessions and then modify or delete existing uh, sessions. And as you can see, we'll be using um, an open source um, flat design um, library for this. Let's have a quick look at the learning pyramid. Um, see how when you are doing an active uh, activity throughout your learning, you get higher retention rates of the stuff that you're learning. So if you stick with just uh, reading a book or just hearing somebody talk and, and seeing it, um, you, you uh, don't get all, all that you can. But when you engage in more active manners of learning, um, you definitely improve your retention. Um, I wouldn't focus too much on the on the actual percentages, but uh, the important thing is that when you're learning, you need to include all different uh, elements, uh, passive elements and active elements as well. Now, when you're done with the course, um, it'd be great if you can fill out the course evaluation survey. I'm very interested in knowing whether you like the course or not, um, how can it be improved, what else do you want to learn? What can we include in other Symfony courses or web development courses or any sort of uh, IT programming related stuff that you're interested in learning? Um, give us ideas for what our next course should be about. About Zemba, um, you can reach us at our homepage, zemba.com, or you can follow us on Twitter, Zemba Tweets, Facebook, Zemba Dev. And we also have a site dedicated to mobile game and app development and web development as well. It's called the GameDevAcademy.org. So um, check it out as well. We have other courses, some of which are free, and we have some uh, premium paid courses. Um, we cover a lot of topics. We have courses on mobile apps using HTML and also native for different platforms, iOS, Android. We have courses on game development and uh, ga uh, web development topics too. Um, if you're a PHP developer, you might want to check out our um, WordPress plugin development course. And by the time um, you watch this, we might have um, even more courses added. So let's get started. 